Memphis Grizzlies taking on the San Antonio Spurs. And early Joe Ingles going to get the scoop layup. He was scored 20 points tonight. He's going to hit this three. He had a great game right here with the steal, the slam. This time, Spurs being Spurs. They're just left open in the three-point line mostly this game. We got the and one first. Kyle Anderson, then Anderson down. Easy bucket for the Spurs. 63-61, Spurs up right now. Ginobili for three. The Jazz are just using the three-point line. They're just leaving it wide open. And more threes right now. Patty Mills gives it to Danny Green, who knocks it down. 75-69. In the fourth quarter in crunch time, Spurs have a double-digit lead. But the rookie, Donovan Mitchell, does the lob up to Rudy Gobert. Jazz, next possession. Mitchell to Ingles. Ingles for three to make it a three-point game. And then the rookie just going to pop one on Ginobili. Yeah, it's going to be a three tie game, actually. Spurs are down by two, but Danny Green with the clutch three. Spurs up by one. The Jazz with 40 seconds left. The rookie, Mitchell, hits the dagger. It's 199 right now. And then with seven seconds, the Spurs with five. The Spurs with four. The Spurs with three. The Spurs with two. The Spurs with one. Ginobili has to put it up at the buzzer. No good. The Jazz, 10-game winning streak, and they win this one by two. 101 to 99. Jazz win. The Warriors getting their all-star jerseys. And Steve Kerr let the players coach. Look at this. Igladala is coaching the team. This is hilarious. Early Duran gets the starting three to start off the game. The Warriors would win this game by 46 points. And there, Alfred Payton was recently traded because of the hair as he's knocking down that three. And then Curry would just respond though. And then you know the players have to coach again. You're going to see this in a second. Look at this. Draymond Green is coaching. Draymond Green has the clipboard in his hands. This is, this is like, I don't know what to say about this. This is speechless. And then Thompson knocks him down. Look how disrespectful these Warriors are. They are going to extend their lead. Now David West is coaching. He's got the clipboard. And this is why no one likes the Warriors too. Because they're so arrogant. They really are. In the second half. We got Warriors, more of them. They were just up by 17 at this point. So they got to keep extending this to win by 46. And Curry, this is the Suns' fourth game where they lost by 40-plus points. He's going to knock it down. And then Suns are going to try. No, Iggy steals it. He's running all the way. He slams it. Warriors. Blake Griffin versus Anthony Davis, the big man showdown. Right here off this tournament, uh, this turnover, Blake is going to get hit in the head heartily. He's going to have a rough, see, he can't get really. And then look at this. Blake gets pushed down by the defense. No foul called. No, nothing. That was an interception, too. It was like, but Blake, he would get back in this. Pops it from mid range. He would be okay in this game. Right here, the post up. No way on one. He's having a hard time with the refs this game. But Anthony Davis would take over the game. He would destroy the Pistons. He would carry on the team. Andre Drummond had 21 rebounds. Blake had 21 points. And then Davis just completely is destroying right now. 10-point game. Davis with the mid-range fadeaway. It goes in the second half. The Pistons are going to shoot some threes to get in. At first, we got Stucky launching the three. And then it's going to be Blake Griffin who's going to get it. He's going to pop one from range to make it a four-point game. But Anthony Davis... He, you know him. He's going to ice the game. We got Davis. He's going to get the ball and one to make it a 14-point game. And then Holiday back into Avis. Another and one. And then they give it to Davis again. Davis for three. And he holds the record for both arenas. Even for the Pistons arena, he still gets the record. Pelicans win. The Orlando Magic taking on the Chicago Bulls. There was a lot of highlights. Look at this. He's going to get him leaning. 
turn him around. Clears done, and he hits the three. Crazy ankle breaker. And now more highlight plays. We got the Bulls. They're going to keep coming back at the Magic. And then Magic, beautiful pass fake to get the three. Magic would keep working. They are just trying to get in a higher seat before the, before the All-Star break. And right now it's a three-point game. Magic are up 101 to 98. The Bulls are going to tie it with 15 seconds. Zach Levine's going to steal it. He's going to go all the way with the slam to make it 103 to 101. And then there's one more chance. This is for the win. This is for the game. No good. The Chicago Bulls are going to win. Allen Iverson is in the building because a long time, many, many years ago, Allen Iverson dropped 60 points again. And they defeated the Orlando Magic. They killed him. And right now, Allen Iverson, in this day, he's celebrating his 60 point anniversary. Now we got 76ers. This time, 2018, see what they can do. And right now, Joel Embiid's father was watching. You're going to see he's going to hit him with the move. Going to get the little, look, Papa Embiid's in the building. Daddy Embiid. And then, our still McCannum, he right here. He's going to dish it to Robert Covington. And he's going to throw down a crazy posterizer. Um, the guy who bounced past it, he got triple-double. Right here, everyone's tweeting about him and JJ Reddick's easy mid range. And it was a historic night for him on Alder Iverson 60 point anniversary. A triple double goes down for the Sixers. Right now, they are killing the game. Simmons this time with the flush who jumps up. He has trouble getting back balance, but he's fine. Look at this, give TJ Mask and Max deal. And look at this, that's going to be his 10th rebound, and he's going to get the triple-double. Everyone's loving it. Six Go check out Chris Move's channel.